in in the afternoon, and Marcy was there reliably at the airport to pick me up. She had the van and three of the four kids, but she warned me on the way back that um, the carpet cleaning guy had been there all day. He should have been there earlier, but he didn't make it, and so the house was very disorganized because all the furniture had to be moved and so forth. Uh, the carpet cleaner did a wonderful job, but then Marcy had the difficult task of trying to please the kids with food on the carpet, and that was a losing battle, although Rhett also tried to police his siblings not to take food down the hall or in the living room, uh, but I have no doubt that the carpet's going to return to its original condition very soon. Despite Marcy's valiant efforts, there's certainly no guilt on her. One of the things I learned very quickly is that Marcy is a wonderful homemaker and she's an excellent cook and baker. I watched her make homemade bread several times and grind the wheat as well. She made a wonderful soup for our dinner the first night I was there. It was a chicken noodle soup and I kick myself for not remembering to ask her for the recipe. Although she and Eric did apologize that uh, most of the kitchen utensils such as the silverware ended up outside in the garden as a digging utensil. So we were a little short. I asked if there was something special I do, had to do to warrant a knife. And, uh, well, it was an interesting situation. I had thought she had gone to bed one night at about the same I did because it was late and all the kids were in bed and all of that. But I discovered very quickly that she stays up every night on a school night to pack lunches. And that must have taken her uh, a long time, and certainly she was still up working after I had been exhausted and retired for the night. Um, I caught two pictures of her being in the kitchen, and she's often in the kitchen. I, she spends a good chunk of her time there, and, and she's just a wonderful cook in every respect. I think she really outdid herself Friday morning, that first breakfast that I was there. Dinner breakfast was just wonderful. And I also watched her planning dinner dinners and breakfast. She planned things about a week ahead of time and just a, a, a wonderful variety of really delicious foods. On top of Marcy's responsibilities as a mother and wife and homemaker, she also wears the hat of an apartment manager. And there was one vacancy while I was there, and she was constantly fielding calls for it, um, showing the apartment to people with just within minutes of the phone call, uh, checking out ten tenants and running credit reports and all of that. Uh, she's a very busy lady. Another hat that Marcy wore is that of chauffeur, but uh, is chauffeur with a lot of other things that add value. Uh, Friday morning, she grabbed a teaching moment with Landon and Mikkel right before she had to take them off to school. And it was amazing to me that even if she were helping them with getting ready for school, she, she turned it into a teaching moment and she grabs every teaching moment she can by quizzing the kids or teaching the kids. It was amazing that she could do it on just a, a, an ad hoc basis. In the van on the way to school, she would uh, administer spelling tests to Landon, and of course she had to have memorized everything beforehand, his words and so forth. And um, I've got two pictures of her. Wearing her hat as a teacher, she's helping Landon with his homework. And the pictures kind of focus on Landon, but you can see Marcy there in the corner. And doing homework and helping the kids was just a daily and almost minute-by-minute -minute event. Sunday is supposed to be a day of rest, but um, I'm not sure there was much rest for Marcy on that day. She still made meals. She still did numerous things. She still worked with the children. And I caught a picture of her right after she got home. And, of course, she headed straight to the kitchen for meals. And she and Eric posed there in the kitchen for me. This was just right after church. I don't think she'd even gone anywhere else yet. 
I was also able to snap two pictures of her later on that she simply was not aware of. After she got done with the necessary Sunday meals and cleaning up and so forth, she finally sat down and basically was just overcome. Um, you can see where she's gone to sleep in the chair and she has been either knitting or crocheting um, a block for a quilt. I think it's some sort of Relief Society or church project, something like that. But. Uh, a well-deserved nap. I wish she could have had it horizontal instead of upright in the chair amidst the chaos of all the kids. Sometime during my visit I was astonished to discover that Marcy's in the Relief Society president. She's one of the counselors and I was just amazed because she already has a full plate and that's one of the most demanding jobs in the church and uh, she handles it with the grace that she does everything. I was concerned about my presence causing Marcy more work and I tried to do things so that uh, it would save her time and angst and, and help her with what tasks she would allow me to do. Her request was that, was that I spend time with the kids, distract them, help them with their homework so that she could concentrate on the kitchen and the other household tasks that she needed to do. I also worked hard on the computer and um, again trying to brainstorm stuff that would ease her time restraints and um, I think I probably did that but I probably created some other things that she didn't need the headache for but I did try. Uh, I sat down with her on the computer. I, she picked up stuff amazingly well. I wanted to spend more time with her and train her a little bit more but I pretty much just got through with things once but um, that was enough for Marcy. She's very sharp. These slides are entitled Trips, Trips and More Trips and I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, Marcy was constantly running kids around. She had to take the kids to school. She had to take Rhett and McKenna separate from McKell and Landon, and then she had to pick them up, usually sh separately. She had to go shopping. She had to go to a Relief Society meeting, and she had to take Landon to numerous t-ball games and practices. She had to take Rhett to karate. Uh, she had to take McKell to, to eye therapy and Renton McKenna to Young Men's Young Women's. Um, she had to take both Renton and McKenna to play practice and Rhett was in two plays so she ha often had to take him to a different play practice sometimes a different one, two in one night. It was really an astonishing amount of transport. And like I said she launches into teaching moments while she's driving. I was, it was white knuckle traffic for me but uh, she took it in stride. It was a wonderful party over at the Hardys. Unfortunately, it was just one more headache for Marcy, um, making her food contribution to it and then negotiating when she was going to be able to pick up the kids and get them all there. And we ended up having to pick up Red at the school where he was having play practice. And he wasn't quite done when we arrived, so we had a few minutes to wait. Landon took the opportunity to head out and run amok and uh, just about massacred a bush that he got into and I was taking a picture of him, probably egged him on. Marcy felt like she needed to go and try and rearrange the bush. This is a picture of she and Karen at Hardy's. It was one of the only two pictures that I snapped of Karen. It's not the greatest of either Marcy or Karen because neither one is really looking at the camera. But um, it was one of those few times where Marcy could just socialize and, and rest a little bit. I've already said that Marcy grabs teaching moments whenever she can and uh, an obvious one was the day before I headed out and Landon had a game and she was getting him ready for that but uh, I think she was putting on his shoes or doing something. He was sitting up on the desk and she's got him with a book and there's another teaching moment she's grabbing right before we head off to a t-ball game. My last day was kind of hectic. Marcy took all the kids to school and then she fed me a wonderful lunch and then she actually packed me a snack for the plane and it was a wonderful snack and Red had requested that he be taken out of school so he could see me off at the airport so Marcy picks up all the kids and then she got me to the airport and she did all of this before about 1.30. Marcy may technically be my sister-in-law but I consider her a sister.